Is there anybody out there? How <laughs> I got you guys up close and personal. Oh, I actually got a notification this time. That's a good thing. Hi, Holly. How are you? Hi, Coffee Chalk Crazy Gal. Hi, J. Marie. I'm glad you caught me too. How are you tonight? Coco Shop got the notification. Miss Bethy is in the house. And I'm not seeing everybody. Live chat. Okay. How is everybody doing tonight? Oh, you got notified. Awesome. Well, that's a good thing. Um, and Cajun, I just want to let you know that you have my full permission to put me on your big screen. Just saying. But you have to make sure you tell everyone in the bar that they need to subscribe to J Plans Vlogs. That's the only way you can put me on your big screen. Hi, Angie. How are you? I'm glad you popped in. It's cold and snowy. I'm Sarah. I'm being told. You know I'm being totally serious, Cage. <laughs> Thinking I should go out and get gas before it's too cold to stand out. Yes, that would be a good idea, Jay Marie. That would be an awesome idea. If it's going to like go down to like below freezing and stuff like that. Get that stuff taken care of. Angie's good. Well, I'm glad to hear that. You know, and it's only January. Like, okay, so let's figure this out here. For us, we have, hey, Abby. For us, we have like, okay, in New York, February, brutal. It's usually really, really cold. March is that whole thing where it like, they say if it goes in like a lion, it comes out like a lamb. If it comes in like a lamb, it goes out like a lion. So March is like flip a coin whether it's going to begin or end cold. So I know January has felt like forever long. Hi, Heather. i glad you could pop over. I'm not going to be on that long tonight, but I, Ashley made me go live. So <laughs> hi, Tammy. How are you? Yeah, winter here. That's right. Angie's um Angie's from Syracuse. Angie's from my area. <laughs> she like watches where I pick up all the good stuff. Oh, Duders wants to say hello. Come here. You want to say hello to everybody? There. You just want to come up and see what I'm doing. Maybe if I put Duders on the camera, I'll get more people in the stream. You know who we're missing? We're missing Bev and Nan tonight. They're not in here yet. Coffee chop, coffee chocolate is talking to Ashley. Hi, Jackson. How are you? Hi, West Haven. I don't know what the heck they are. I don't know what. Oh, where the heck they are. Finally got home. Oh, hey, Rhonda. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to my stream. We're on my channel now. Greetings, West Haven. Hell yeah. Hell to the yeah. Cosmo's got a big, big itch. <laughs> <laughs> what are you itching for? I don't think, I still don't think he's used to this collar that I got him. He still is constant, always itches around the collar. So what are you guys up to tonight? Besides bopping around YouTube. And checking out live streams. Let me know what you guys are up to. I basically worked all day. Nothing exciting in my world. I did do a vlog yesterday. But I still have to edit it. Either tonight or tomorrow. Holly's making cookies. Ooh, what kind of cookies? Heather's trying to stay warm. Yay for vlog. It's not that exciting of a vlog. Because I really... I mean, it's kind of a little bit of a shopping vlog. It's mostly like a shopping vlog, I would say. Angie's doing cleaning. Don't overstress yourself, Angie. Seriously. 
I did a sweatshirt for my Maltese. Aw. That's awesome, 80 hot dog. I know. I have a blanket, like, on top. I have, like, a heated blanket, uh, like, a heated throw on top of my um, lap. Okay, you guys have to see this. You guys have to check this out. I'm going to try to move my camera slowly. Look at this. He's like staring at me going, what, who are you talking to, mom? Hello, my dudes. <laughs> can I, can I help you? Maybe I can get more people in the stream if I just keep him on the camera so that when people see the live feeds, they'll see this cute dog. <laughs> I'm talking... <laughs> Just can't with her. <laughs> he is like looking at me like. <laughs> He's still looking at me. <laughs> he, <clears throat> seriously, he normally could care less. Like if I'm live, like I know I've personally witnessed when I've been at Ashley's house videotaping with Ollie that he literally like wants to know who you're talking to and stuff like that. And he normally doesn't care. And tonight, I think it's because I have this so close to me. Oh, now we laid down because I have the camera a lot closer to me. Cause I'm like laying back. He's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> yes. I remember Eddie from Frasier. Yeah. Ollie hates when you film. It's so funny. And you can hear him in some of your videos. You can hear him like grunting and groaning and stuff like that. I, <laughs> I think he thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> he really gets mad. Yeah, he does. He's still looking at me like, what are you doing? I'm just live streaming, duders, okay? Don't judge me. Yeah, Ali's a cutie. He is. I love Ali. I cannot, I cannot wait to see him again. He is beside you cold. You didn't show him on your stream tonight. I was thinking about that. You would think with all the times, like, okay, so on my main channel, I had gone through and I was like, I deleted some older videos, put some on private, and I was going through all my videos and I have a ton, a ton of lives that I used to do on the other channel that I never deleted. I just kept them as private because that was back before the chat, um, the chat replay would show up. And I can't, like the amount of lives that I did, I think there was over 160 lives that are private on my main channel right now. Between when I used to go live, when I used to play softball, um, just lives like, you know, sometimes I would do like breakfast lives in the morning when I eat breakfast and all that kind of stuff. I was, for the amount of times that I've been live on YouTube, you would think that the dog would be used to it by now. <laughs> but evidently tonight, he's having a little bit of an issue with it because I'm not paying attention to him. I don't know. Abby says, my dog is snuggled underneath the covers out cold. Yeah, he just went underneath the blanket. I haven't turned the blanket on. It's one of those heated blankets. I think he's waiting for me to turn it on. Yeah, both of our dogs are divas. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Oh my goodness. All right, so what else can we talk about? Beauty, what else can we talk about here in this live? Tell me. I just tweeted the chat. Aw, thank you, Rach. The moment the drool starts coming out of Ashley's. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's awesome. I, 
I think what I want to do is I still have the snippet that I uploaded to my Instagram stories, and I think I'm going to take that video and upload it to to uh, Twitter tomorrow with a link to the video so that I might try to see if I can get a little bit more trap. I think that video has a potential. Miss Bethy, you need to share it everywhere. You need to share it. Share that video everywhere. <laughs> but the funniest thing was that like you just like literally you were choking and breathing and just the stuff was just oozing out of your mouth. It was so funny. Oh my God, seriously, so funny. I, I can't think of how we can top that. But the ramen challenge was pretty funny too. Ashley slobbers. Yeah, she does. <laughs> and I had to clean up the mess that was on my table afterwards from her drooling and stuff. Hi, dancing queen. That was so, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but at least you ate some of it. <laughs> I still have, I think I still have three packets left. <laughs> like Turner and Hooch. <laughs> uh, he is at pitch tonight. He is not a YouTuber. I am. But you thought there would be... But you thought there would... <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm so glad I got grab bags from Michael's. I love... <laughs> I got two marquee letters, and they are E and W. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Oh, my goodness. All right. Topic, you guys. Pick a topic. Let's talk. Wow. Heather says. Heather, what are we wowing about? Or we? Mm, pick a topic. Come on. Come on, beauty. No pressure. Right. What can we talk about? <laughs> That's exactly how she would say it. Oh, I know what I was going to say. How many of you in this live watched the Dollar Tree haul that I just uploaded on the main channel? Because I have a question for you. Yes, Joanne, I watched the ramen challenge last night. I was getting worried about it. Actually, I did. You did? You did? Okay. All right, so the question is, for those of you who watched it, Puppy Breath did. Oh, hi, Puppy Breath. First comment. Well, Miss Bethy, you should always just plan on going to my channel every single day that you get to YouTube. So here's a clue. Just every single day, go to my channel and see if I uploaded a video. Don't, don't plan on notifications. Um, I hauled the two food items that I hauled at the end of the, end of the video – um, I asked in the video, but make sure if you have not commented yet, if you want me to see like a taste test review on those two items that I um, showed at the end of the video. I know. How dare you miss a Dollar Tree haul? I forgive you though, Miss Bethy, because you know what? You don't have a Dollar Tree in, in the UK, so I get it. I, how dare you? <laughs> Because there was a lot of people that said that they wanted to see like a taste test video. So I think there's enough response. I may do um, just a well, kind of like a taste test review video of that. And I'm going to try to see if I can find one more product to taste along with it. Hi there, Tanya. Yes. Yes, please sample them on a live or in a, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Because I think I, because... There's a lot of people, there's a lot of controversy on those shreds because some people absolutely love them and some people hate them. No, not the price, not the possible price change. We can talk about that if you want to, but I pretty much explained everything in that video. Uh, no, I'm talking about the actual Dollar Tree haul that I put up. I uploaded later on that day. 
See, that's what some people were saying. That, like the the box is really heavy. I have never felt a box of cereal that heavy before. Now my son, I bought two boxes. My son tried them last night and I told him not to open the other box and he liked them. So they're definitely going to be worth going back and picking up if they have more for a buck, you know? Yes. Head over to the main channel, Joanne Plans, and um, check out that video when you get a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think they're kind of like, you're right, Jay Marie, they're kind of like a, like a discontinued item. Yeah, pretty much, I would assume. I like my cereal to absorb milk a little. Oh, and the coating kept them from doing that. I know how you feel because like when I eat those um, Captain Crunch peanut butter balls, I like to soak them for like at least three minutes before I start eating it. Thank you, Heather. I appreciate it. That's awesome. I totally appreciate it. it. It was more like it repelled milk. So Rhonda, did it actually have like an extra shiny coating of uh, like a water repellent? <laughs> now I'm afraid to try them. <laughs> but you know what? I will totally give you guys my honest opinion. Like I will totally like say what it tastes like, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Like I will be brutally honest with it because I know it's important when you go to the dollar tree and you have a dollar that you don't want to waste it on food and just have it thrown away. I, I know. So now it's like, I'm trying to figure out when can I schedule time to record this? Cause I don't really want to do it on a live. I don't think the main channel likes my lives. Cause I mean, I don't know. I don't think, I know the main channel doesn't like the lives. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just record a total first impression, open up the box for the first time, pour it in, milk, you know, kind of like do the whole thing. <laughs> like for you guys trying to drive off at the shower. Isn't that the worst though? Do you ever get one of those towels? Do you have one of those towels at your house that like doesn't dry you off? Like all your favorite towels are ready to be washed and you have that one towel that like just either has lost all of its like absorption or it's one of those newer towels that doesn't like when, sometimes when you get towels and they're like brand new, they don't, do you know what I'm talking about? See, Rhonda knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I hate those towels. <laughs> and you, and you say to yourself every single time you dry yourself, you say to yourself, self, throw this thing away like, bin it, throw it away so that you don't have to see it again and use it again. And you, you don't. You end up washing it, folding it up, and you end up having to pull into your stock at some point in time down the road. My hands are so cold, I'm keeping them under the duvet. <laughs> Those. <laughs> or the new towels. Now, I always wash my towels first before I use them. Do you guys want, like, if you buy towels brand new at, like, Target or wherever, or for you guys in the UK, where do you buy towels? Asda or Asda or whatever. Do you, like, wash them first before you actually wash them and dry them before you use them? I always wash them and dry them because I'm afraid they're going to leave little um, fabric bunnies. You have to wash new towels. See, that's what I thought. I've always washed my towels, but I know some people that don't. Yeah. Hey, Christy Lee, how are you? Did you just pop in here? That's the first comment I'm seeing from you. Christy Lee, have you been lurking? Have you been lurking? <laughs> I'm always, I yes, I always buy before then uh, from the Kohl's. Oh yeah, I like Kohl's. Oh, you're adding it. Man, you are just like, you're like an up to, you're like a YouTube, um, you've been uploading a lot. I always wash who knows who's been handling them or if they 
felt. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. I never really thought of that. This thing keeps on getting in my way. Yeah. I have these towels that I got at, I believe it was Walmart. And I picked them up over the summer. Ashley, you remember the ones. They were like the gray ones with kind of like they were like nubby. And then I think I had a fuchsia one. I want to get more of those. I want to get like a white one and I want to get like another fuchsia one because the new things, yeah, my new set, like I, I haven't done a video in a long time, but like I have an old, old video on my channel when my bathroom used to be like Hello Kitty. Like I used to have, okay, Abby, I used to have a Hello Kitty bathroom shower um, whole set. I should put, everything's all washed and cleaned. I have, I, I should sell that to somebody. But anyways, I have a new set that has like this Paris theme with like, um, uh, what is it called? Hot air balloons, the Eiffel Tower, and has like fuchsia and black in it. So I want to get some, couple more of those towels because I love those towels. They work really good. Um, and they're at Walmart and they're really, really reasonable. How often do people wash their towels? That's a good question. That's a question that I bet a lot of people will not answer. How often do you wash your towels? True confessions. Let's hear your answers in the chat. Miss About every twice, like every two times, every two times you use it. You wash towels every day. So, so in other words, if you have a shot, if you have a, if you have a towel that you use and you dry yourself off with, do you immediately put it in the dirty clothes or do you use it a couple of times? Two goes and wash. Unfortunately, I wash them every time I use, but I know that's dumb. LOL. We use clean ones every time. Wow. That's good to know. See, and everybody used to, you know, I used to hear people say, why do you wash them after every use? Because theoretically, you're drying your body that's already clean. Janine, there we go. Janine, <laughs> Janine's popping in. Once a week, <laughs> she does it. Hand towels last longer, right? But aren't you, but do you not shower properly? Because aren't you drying off a clean body? <laughs> that's what I want to know. <laughs> this is what I want to know. Seriously. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. I actually do mine every two or three times because of mildew and bacteria, Karen <laughs> Yeah. I tend to do it more if I put something on. Like sometimes when I get out of the shower, I'll put on like a um, baby oil type lotion thing. So if I put that on my skin and then I'm wiping it off and it ha have more product on it, or if I'm wash my hair and I dry my hair when I have my um, hair color just done and the red goes on my towels, then I obviously wash them after each time. That's true, Miss Patty says. You're a German. Don't say you're German phobic. <laughs> Well, I used to make my girls take their talk. <laughs> Don't say you're German pho phobic because now, now I'm going to have to take this video down because YouTube's going to ban me. That's the best typo I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> we, it was a typo, YouTube. It was a typo. It was germaphobe. <laughs> Thanks, Karen, for getting my channel shut down because <laughs> I read your typo. <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I can't even type, I can't even top that. Well, that's the end of J Plaz Vlogs. I spent forever trying to get this channel to a thousand subscribers and now it's gonna get shut down because of Karen Ritter. <laughs> Stupid phone. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's too funny. Oh, by the way, guys, the wipes that I hauled in that video too, I really like the scent of them. So make sure you keep an eye out for that scent. I can't remember what it was called. The la I think it was lavender and citrus or something like that. Yeah. Those are awesome. 
I'm gonna have to, I'm, I, as a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to use one in a few minutes as soon as I get off here. Take, I don't have a lot of makeup still left on, but I gotta take off my eye makeup. Yeah, the lavender citrus. Rhonda, have you tried that one yet? The lavender and citrus? You did? <laughs> Could be. I don't know. Could be. <laughs> it's funny because I didn't see the wipes the first time when I went there. I, I want to go back and watch my videos, though, and to see if I saw it. Oh, well. Didn't you go? Didn't you say you went to the one on the west side? No joke, your haul had some stuff I just bought. That's funny. Well, Rhonda, I've been keeping an my eye on you. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye on you hardcore. <laughs> you know what I do is I go on Instagram and when I see people haul things, I um I go, I search like Dollar Tree finds and I find things that I want to find and I like screenshot them. And then I bring those pictures to remind me at the store. You know, I haven't tried them. Um, there's somebody else that I'm following. There's another YouTuber I'm following that said that she was going to do a video on them. So I'm curious to see what she has to say because she has kind of longer hair. Um, but I've heard from people, I've seen from people comment on Instagram that the, sh the Bolero shampoo doesn't do it very well. Yeah. It's like, meh. <laughs> Rhonda, did you say it like that? Meh. I like the one on West Jenny near Getty's. They're usually, is it pretty good? Okay. I've never been to that one before. I must be really picky about scents because I tried all the Bolero scents and I really don't care for it. Really? Yeah, you are picky. <laughs> Cause I love, I love the apple and cinnamon one. Um, this, uh, lavender one's pretty good. What's the other one I like? The, um, the coconut one. They're all pretty good. Actually, the orange one's really good too. But my favorite, favorite wipe so far from the Dollar Tree is the one, I don't think I have it down here, I think I finished it, is the one that's, it's not Bolero, but it's the, it's like a cucumber, a cucumber and something scent, and it smells so good, like, I need to find more of them, and I know it's that the big Dollar Tree that's on Erie Boulevard, they, all, they seem to always have them, so... Maybe either this weekend or next weekend, my next trip to the Dollar Tree, I'm going back to the big one to try to find more of those wipes. I like all the makeup wipes from Bolero. My face makeup wipes is from Costco. Yeah. Costco is your fave. Yeah. Gotcha. Township 5 Dollar Tree is my fave. I haven't been... Um... What's the Township 5 one? Where's that one? I don't, I'm not picturing where that is. Sorry, guys. An Angie lives in my area. Is that the one that's out in Manlius you talking about? I was going to go to the one out there. I, I did go into there once, but they didn't have any new items, that one. Okay, I have a question. All right, Rhonda's got a question, everyone. Oh, that one. The one by the movie theater. Yeah, the movie tavern. Would you ever dump? Yes, absolutely. I absolutely would dumpster dive. Unfortunately, in my area, there are no dumpsters to dive in because they're all locked up. They're all locked up with um, gates and keys. I absolutely would <laughs> dumpster die. I just need to find some place where I can. I want to, but I'm scared. Can you do it in your area? Do you actually have dumpsters that are available to dumpster dive? I go by every once in a while. I'll go to the malls. I'll check around the back like they're all they're all like locked in. They're all gated. They have a lock and key. You know, the only dumpsters that are 
open is like the one at the freaking Dunkin' Donuts, and that's just going to be food stuff. You know, it's not like I'm going to be able to go to like Sephora or Alta and be able to dumpster dive. Even like behind my Dollar General, which is a really famous one that everybody dumpster dives on, my Dollar General has their dumpster like locked up like behind um, a fenced-in gate and stuff. I just don't know where it's legal. I wonder if it's legal in Massachusetts, so maybe the next time in Boston I can find a place to dumpster dive. Well, I saw a ton of Bed, 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 bed Bath & Beyond stuff. The girl was taking out the other night, but I fell asleep. Didn't do it. Haven't been back. Oh, keep us posted if you do, because I think that's, like, I'm very interested in dumpster diving. There used to be a channel I used to watch that used to go live and do dumpster diving all the time, but they don't do it anymore. Those were a lot of fun to watch. And I would totally go live and do it too. I would totally go live. I would have to have somebody kind of hold the, I would have to do, I would have to go live with somebody. So either it would have to be when Ashley's in town or I'd have to rope Janine in and get Janine to record me while I dumpster talk. Janine, if you're still here, would you do that? <clears throat> now you have me curious. I don't think it's legal. It's not legal in New York State to dumpster dive, and any place that there is a dumpster that I can see that's a store is um, locked up. I like the guy, Bensberg Films. He dives apartment complexes, like upscale ones, and gets all kinds of... So that's a difference between, yeah, like like trash picking. So like there's this lady I used to watch. I can't remember her channel name, but she would trash pick, and she's from Chicago, and she would go to the rich sections of Chicago, and she would trash pick, and she legit found a, a MacBook Pro, took it to the Mac store, and they reset it for her. It just needed to be something tweaked or something like it for some reason it wasn't like doing a charge or something they fixed it and it's working fine and that's and yeah so she found that she's found like iphones yeah mom the ebayer that's who it is frick she like i i remember one weekend i binge watched all of her dumpster dives yeah check her out mom the ebayer <laughs> she's a legend i mean ashley some of her videos like she would find like Louis Vuitton, you know, sunglasses or whatever, like Chanel, blah, blah, blah. Like all those like designer stuff that you probably know everything about. She's finding all this stuff like, and she knows like if she finds a box of something like, oh my God, sunglasses came in this box. Yeah, she'll take it and then like, okay, so like, even if it's like a sunglasses case, like she'll take like a, say it's like a Louis Vuitton case or a um, whatever, and she'll sell it on eBay and like make a shit ton of money. And this Bensburg guy, I want to marry him. LOL, <laughs> he's married though. <laughs> what did Janine say? No dumpster diving for me, but I would be more than happy to video for you. <laughs> okay, point well, <clears throat> excuse me, point well taken, Janine. That's funny. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, listen, I am going to get off now. Uh, it's almost 9 o'clock. I've been on for about a half an hour. I'm going to pop off here for now and uh, finish up my tea, find something to watch on Netflix. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you have not yet checked out Ashley Beauty's channel, head on over and uh, check out her channel. Also, if you are new into the stream, check out Joanne Plans, the main channel. And um, you guys have a great night and thanks for coming in and chatting with me. I really